Two Cincinnatians just got back from Ferguson. They reached out to several groups, including community leaders and Missouri's branch of the American Civil Liberties Union. Angela Ingram explains how they're hoping their experiences here help people in Missouri. Iris Rowley has dozens of newspaper clippings and pictures documenting the turmoil Cincinnati faced in 2001. She and Pastor Damon Lynch recently took these same images to Ferguson, Missouri. We walked with them, we talked with them, uh, prayed with them, we shared with them, we laid out all of this for them to see that Cincinnati was Ferguson in 2001. When you talk to somebody who's been through what you've gone through, it just gives them some credibility. Rowley and Pastor Lynch stood with protesters after the shooting death of Timothy Thomas in Cincinnati. They witnessed the disturbances, but they say what is happening in Ferguson is much more intense, and they took pictures documenting their trip. In 2001, our police had uh, cars and horses and uh, shotguns with bean bags and, and and rubber bullets. Their police force now has armored vehicles, AR-15s. Uh, we felt like we were in, in some kind of occupied land. One of the main goals of the visit was also to share Cincinnati's collaborative agreement, the document that came out of the riots and improved police community relations. From the use of forces to, you know, the um, when they have the dogs, the barking fines to the pepper spray, all of that is listed in here so that they would see the blueprint of change that Ferguson could, could use also. Both say the experience was a chance to help Ferguson make a change and to heal like Cincinnati. Police community relations now are better than they were then. They're not perfect uh, and nothing is, but they are better. Iris Rowley is in daily contact with people she met in Ferguson. She and Pastor Lynch are planning a return trip next month. Rob, back to you. Angela, thanks very much. Last week, about 100 people gathered at Damon Lynch's Roselawn Church. The group were part of a nationwide vigil addressing the issues in Ferguson.